My name is Lizette Malmberg, and um, I'm on the beautiful island of Aruba, and our organization is called Hope Aruba Movement Foundation. And we're a civic movement desiring to bring change and transformation within the community of uh, the nation as a whole. Well, we heard about the Zynaton Works as we were looking for partners uh, to work with us in uh, actually executing the social inspiration labs. Uh, as we were desiring to engage, to inspire, to connect with uh, civic society as a whole, we wanted to have a vehicle that would connect them to working together uh, to solving the challenges that we face as a nation. And as we were looking at the social inspiration labs, uh, some of you may have heard of social um, innovation labs, which are being done in many cities uh, and or countries around the world. We felt inspiration precedes innovation. So it was very important to inspire our people who may not be as used to, say, speaking up, using their voice, uh, being a part of the solution, uh, rather than only considering the challenges or problems that we face. So coming up with the Social Inspiration Labs as a vehicle to inspire and to connect people and to create a platform of thinking together about uh, challenges that we face, and then connecting those with the SDGs, the Sustainable Development goals was really important to us in the process. And so as we were looking at who could we partner with to do this with children, uh, then we were connected with uh, Design It On Works. There are different stages in the process of working with Designathon. A works first was um, designing uh, this particular sill as we commenced with children and deciding what age of children we're going to work with and then how we're going to do it, uh, what problem statement or challenge statement that we're going to use uh, in this particular one because we wanted to make sure that whatever we chose uh, as a problem statement would be what we would use throughout all sills including for the youth and the young, so that we would actually formulate, uh, if you will, a story. And the intention is that the social inspiration lab could lead to a social activation lab where we do larger scale prototyping of some of the solutions that the kids or the young people or the adults came up with. And so really there was that preparation phase. And I have to say, uh, both um, uh, Ina and Anne were incredibly creative. I mean, really adding their experience adding their knowledge, uh, their, their, they've done this in different cultures, in different nations. So that really helped us uh, to understand better uh, what would lead to success in doing this. Uh, and also just uh, the execution phase, having them uh, come here and uh, be a part of uh, the teaching. Uh, and it was wonderful to see the interaction, to have them understand not only the theory part, but also how to execute this. and. Uh, and help the kids to create and to give them permission <laughs> to really be all that they are and can be. Uh, our motivation to start with the children uh, was really, really came out of something uh, a very well known uh, writer and, and teacher on leadership. And I asked him, I said, how long does it take? to transform a nation the size of Aruba. He said, normally it takes a generation. It takes 40 years. He said, however, if you start with the children at the same time that you're working with the adults, you will fast track that and cut it in half because it'll be 20 years. Those kids will grow up with a different mindset and that different mindset is gonna help be a part of the transformation. And so we knew how important it was to start with children at the same time. Well, our hope is that in the next year, so uh, we've started with children, um, we are expecting that before the end of 2018, we will have conducted social inspiration labs all over with all the people that participated in this workshop. Uh, and so at their schools, at their scouting clubs, at all the different uh, organizations that they represent. And then uh, early next year, we will start with youth, uh, young adults, uh, adults, 
uh, elderly, etc., with the same problem statement. And so we're hoping that within five years, we would not only have done the social inspiration labs uh, throughout the different um, target groups within the community, but that actually would have led to social activation labs, where some of the uh, ideas that are uh, doable, that are scalable, that are uh, can be can be financed, if you will, uh, within this early stage, uh, can actually be brought brought uh, in a scalable model, uh, so that uh, all can see. We hope that by before the end of 2019, we can actually have a social inspiration lab exhibition nationally, where we will show all the different um, ideas and uh, creations that have come out of uh, these sales in this past year.